Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. You know, the new hybrid Toyota Prius has changed my mind about the hybrid Toyota Tacoma. You know, I've stated on the channel that I'm going to wait. I want the full Monty. You know, I've said that a few times. Uh, I've never seen that movie, by the way. But anyway, I want the full version, the hybrid version of the Tacoma. I'm going to wait until that comes out before I jump on the 2024, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't go into 2025, hybrid version. Now I say, the Prius has changed my mind. That's because I just bought one. I have another channel. It's called Hybrid Now. Check it out. It's all about the Toyota Prius. Love that car. But as far as why? Why all of a sudden do I love the Prius when I've been a bit skeptical of it, admittedly? Well, it goes. I love it. When I hit the gas, there's no lag. It just kind of glides along. Everything is seamless. It's a little odd. When I start it up, you know, you get in the car, and this is the same way the Tacoma is going to be, the hybrid version. When you get in on the screen, when you push the button to start it, the power button, it's called now. It's no longer called the start button. That's different. But anyway, you get a uh, little green indicator on the screen that says ready. It means it's ready to go. You really can't tell anything has even happened, except you might be able to hear the air conditioner or heat, depending on the time of year and where you're at, if you're running it. Otherwise, it is dead silent quiet. It's very odd to shift is different you no longer click through the gears i mean you don't it's not like slotted where you're like boom 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 you know reverse drive neutral whatever you push the shift selector over to the right and then you push it up or down for reverse neutral or drive it's very different something to try to get used to i'm still getting used to it and i've had the car for a couple of weeks now but i like it still have the shift knob and they don't have to have the shift knob there anymore i mean let's be honest they could have buttons that you push they could have a dial that you turn like the ram does assuming ram still does it's hugely unpopular nobody likes that they like the old shifter the good thing about having that dial is it's on the dash and it's not in your way it gives you a whole bunch more room down here but anyway it's definitely a different feel the motor, or the system, I should say, in the Prius is regenerative. That means that as you're braking or slowing down, it's generating electricity to recharge the onboard battery, something that's located underneath the rear seats in the back. We're going to have that in the Tacoma, the hybrid version, I'm sure. You're going to have that battery under there, and that means no more under seat storage something else that we're actually going to give up in the new hybrid Tacoma. It's not a huge deal to me, but it is gonna be something that you're gonna to have to figure out where else to put your stuff. I am hoping that because they're doing that, that Toyota will put the cubbies that we used to have, at least the big one on the driver's side, back in the bed. It would be nice to have that because we're gonna lose the under seat storage. I don't know if they'll do it or not, we shall see. Maybe they'll add something else somewhere else. I'm sure you'll still be able to pull the seat forward, which is probably all it's gonna do in the back, and there'll be some storage behind there, but they could actually put the batteries back there. If they did that, that means we can still have under seat storage. I don't look for that to happen, we shall see. Would also be neat if they did something like Ram does and gave us under the floor storage. If you didn't know, Ram has these little cubby-like things. You open them up underneath the floor mats on both sides where you can store stuff. There's nothing but open space under there, although with the new powertrain, the hybrid powertrain, maybe we're not gonna have that option. So just something to wish for, I suppose. As far as fuel economy goes, I am uh, somewhere in the 46 to 49 miles per gallon per trip. Could you imagine getting that in the Toyota Tacoma? I mean, right now I'm sitting at 17 miles per gallon. That would be an improvement of what? Almost three times? More than three times? That would be awesome in a Toyota Tacoma. Honestly, 
I'm not really sure that we're gonna have that, probably because it's bigger, it's heavier. We're gonna add a battery pack to it, so that's gonna make it even heavier than it normally would be. That little Toyota Prius is 3,400 to 4,000 pounds, something like that. It's really a pretty heavy car. You'd never know it. Feels nice and nimble, but nonetheless, eh, it's gonna make the Tacoma just that much heavier. And speaking of that, it's gonna be interesting to see what that's going to do to payload and towing capacity. You know, if you're gonna increase the weight of the truck with a battery pack, obviously, unless they do something else, you're gonna be reducing the capability of the truck as well. I don't know, gonna be interesting to see. One other thing I do wanna mention while I'm talking about hybrids, you know, it's rumored that Toyota's gonna to come out with either the Stout which is a midsize, not a midsize, a small truck to kind of compete with all the other small trucks out there, or a different version based on the Corolla platform, a small truck, again, to compete with the other small trucks out there. I wonder, and I would guess, that probably there'll be a version of those, of either one, that will be hybrid as well. And I think it's more suited for that size of truck. I think it'll have good capability, excellent fuel economy and probably drive really really well in a small size truck as compared to the bigger heavier Toyota Tacoma. So price wise man I talked about that a little bit in the last video about conspiracy that Toyota is holding back delivery of trucks Tacomas so that they can raise the prices I don't think that's happening, as I mentioned in that video. As far as pricing on this new Tacoma, the hybrid version, you know, if you look at the Prius, the price isn't really that bad. It's low 30s, uh, maybe even a hair under if you can ever negotiate anywhere, which really isn't bad for a brand new redesigned hybrid model. I think we might, we might get lucky with the Tacoma and that Toyota is gonna wanna get these out on the road and pricing them too high is obviously something that would deter that. Nobody's gonna go out and buy a hybrid Tacoma, which a lot of people are against anyway, at a huge, huge cost. The other thing I wanted to mention, I believe hybrids are the way to go. You know, we're not there yet when it comes to power grid, electricity, all that stuff. I like the hybrid notion because I still have a gasoline engine rather that I can uh, still depend on once I deplete that battery. So as far as an electric Tacoma goes, I don't think there's one coming anywhere in the near future because I just don't think it's practical for a truck, nor do I think it's practical with the infrastructure that we have today. Anyway, leave a comment, let me know. Would you buy a hybrid Toyota Tacoma? Are you holding out in buying the new one until the hybrid is available, like I am. Leave a comment, let me know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.